Hi everybody, welcome to Sook Vibes. In today's video, we are going to cover eight questions which are related to the topic physics of drivings, which falls under the main topic of technical conditions, eco-conscious use of motor vehicles. Let's start. You drive around a bend once at 30 km per hour and again at 60 km per hour. So what does it mean? That now you have doubled your speed. How does the centrifugal force change? Before answering the question, let me show you what is centrifugal force. So this is centrifugal force. We all know this from merry-go-round. A body moving an orbit is dragged to the outside due to centrifugal force in the right corner of this orbit. What does it mean? That if you are moving around in this orbit, then your body is going to be dragged towards outside. And why is it so? Because of this centrifugal force. The centrifugal force is influenced by the mass of the vehicle. It means the trucks which are having higher mass than the car, they will experience more centrifugal force. The curve radius, how sharp the bend is, Sharp the bend, higher the centrifugal force, and the speed. With the higher speed you are traveling, the more centrifugal force you are going to experience. Attention, at double the speed, the centrifugal force increases fourth fold. It means if your speed is double, your centrifugal force is going to become four times. Moving back to the question. In this case, we are doubling our speed, right? How does the centrifugal force change? We have read in the ebook that if you double the speed, your centrifugal force is going to become four times. So centrifugal force at 60 km per hour is the same? No. Is four times as high? Is twice as high? No. So let us say at 30 km per hour, if you are experiencing a centrifugal force of 10, at 60 km per hour, you are going to experience the centrifugal force 40. So it has become four times now. What does a rear wheel drive car tend to do if you accelerate too much on the bend? So for the rear wheel drive car, there are two concepts, oversteering and understeering. A car with a front drive tends to understeer on bends when it is accelerating rapidly. A car with rear wheel tends to oversteer, like to swerve at the rear. Front drive car, it will understeer. If you're driving a rear drive car, it will oversteer. So in this question, so what does a rear wheel drive car tend to do if you accelerate too much on the bend? The car tends to understeer? No. Understeer will happen on the front wheel. The front end tends to turn out of the side. No, the rear end tends to turn out of the side. This is a correct option. So for rear wheel drive, your rear end tends to turn out to the side, which is known as oversteer. What increases the factor of centrifugal force on the vehicle when driving around bends? So we have seen in the previous question, what is a centrifugal force? And the centrifugal force, it is influenced by mass of the vehicle, curve radius, and speed. Three things it depends upon. Higher tire pressure, no. Higher speed, yes. Smaller radius of bend, yes. And the third thing is mass, which is not given here. So centrifugal force, its effect increases if you are moving at high speed. And if the radius of bend is small, means it is having a sharp bend. That's why it's always recommended that you should reduce your speed before reaching the sharp bends. You are approaching a sharp left hand bend at high speed. Why is it necessary to reduce your speed before you have actually reached the bend? So this is what I was explaining you in the previous question, that if you are approaching a sharp bend, right, you have to reduce your speed before reaching the bend. And why is it so? Because otherwise my vehicle could slide off to the left along the bend. No, could slide off to the right along the bend. Yes, because now we are approaching a left hand bend and the vehicle is going to slide off to the right hand along the bend. And why is it so? Because the centrifugal force is always in the opposite direction. As you can see here, it's dragging the car towards outside. Could it begin to skid? Yes, skidding could also happen if you are going to approach a sharp hand bend at a high speed. You are driving at high speed into a bend. What could happen if you had to brake suddenly? My vehicle could skid out of the bend? Yes. Could lose its grip on the road? Yes. Will constantly maintain its driving stability with the stability control? No, this is wrong. If you are approach a bend with high speed, skidding could happen. Your vehicle could lose its grip on the road. What must you be aware of when driving a quad? Quad is MOFA. The handling characteristics are similar to those of car. No, the handling characteristics, they are different from that of the car. Why is it so? Because of the mass, right? Quads, they are lighter as compared to car. Quads are prone to tipping over when driving through tight bends. Yes, wearing a suitable crash helmet is mandatory. This makes sense. So you should wear a suitable crash helmet and you should also wear a protective motorcycle clothes. You suddenly have to brake when conning on a wet carriageway. What special aspects exist with a vehicle equipped with an anti-lock braking system, ABS? 
the vehicle will always remain stable no the steering capability is retained for longer this is correct because abs it prevents your wheel from locking when you brake heavily your steering capability is retained and you can also avoid hitting the obstacle it is not possible for the vehicle to skid out of the bend this is wrong the skidding they has to do with the speed of the car radius of the bend and the mass of the vehicle what can result if you accelerate too hard when driving a front wheel drive car through a road bend so in the previous question we have seen that whenever there is a rear wheel drive car then your car will steer towards the rear wheel and now when you are driving a front wheel drive car then your car will swerve to the front wheel steerability can be reduced this makes sense because you are accelerating too hard the front of the car can swerve this is correct the rear of the car can swerve no the rear of the car can swerve only when it is a rear wheel drive car in this case the front of the car is going to swerve and your steerability can be reduced so this completes our eight questions from the topic physics of driving which falls under the main topic of technical conditions eco conscious use of motor vehicles thanks for watching if you have liked my video please like comment share and subscribe if you are interested in any particular topic please feel free to write in comment section take care see you next time